Welcome to another inspirational moment with AOOY. On Mother's Day, we feel very emotional, sentimental, and we always want to remember all the good things that our mothers have taught us. We owe so much to mothers. We so much love them for the wisdom they've given us. Many of us will say that our mothers have taught us a lot of things. The Bible is filled with so many stories of great women of faith, mothers who believed in God's promises, mothers who prayed for God to help them, mothers who listened to what angels told them. Throughout the Bible, you can find women who also dealt with motherhood struggles. Life as a mother is a constant roller coaster of emotions. Today, I want to let few mothers of spiritual kind put arms around you and lend you a word of encouragement. If the first mother who lost a child out of her own child, Rebecca, Isaac's wife, who struggled with favoritism of her son, Jacob, over Esau, Josephine, a caring mother who had to give up her son Moses. Mary had a chance to see God's entire plan played out. She suffered through the crucifixion and celebration of resurrection and even was part of a small group that witnessed the presentation of the Holy Spirit of the, on the day of Pentecost. The Bible is very clear that behind every great leader, there was a mother of faith. Abraham had faith, but so did his wife Sarah, the mother of Isaac. They had only one son, but he grew up to be the father of a nation. Mary was certainly a mother of faith. She knew that her son was Jesus, and he was going to be one great person one day. She probably couldn't see all the steps ahead of her, but she believed in God's promises that she would be blessed among women. Elizabeth, Mary's cousin, was a great mother of faith too. She believed in miracles. Most women wouldn't know what to think when their husbands came home from church and couldn't speak because he's had a vision at church that day. And he couldn't say a word for the next nine months. That would have shaken most women. But Elizabeth believed and rejoiced that she was going to have a child. These stories remind us that it's okay whatever relationship or struggle we face as mothers, as children. And God is at work redeeming our mistakes and accidents. In Matthew 23, 37, Jesus uses the mother hen to express the relationship he longs to have with us, his children. This is a touching moment. Mother's Day gives us a great opportunity to know that God cares. For those of us waiting for the fruit of the womb, just know that God cares. He is concerned and hasn't forgotten about you. Happy Mother's Day to every woman out there.